In today's show, is it a Bitcoin top or bottom? Traders are at odds whether the Bitcoin price will keep rising. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis, observing perpetual funding going increasingly negative as price grinds higher. It appears that the real liquidation wave may be to the upside. And as Mikhail Vende Pop shares here, this might be a very realistic scenario for Bitcoin. First test of 46,000, I doubt will break through in one go. And he also shares here, Bitcoin is ready for the biggest bull run in history. Let's go. And as this chart points out, bounce this cycle is not over. And Plan B chimed in. The bounce will be epic. And as I point out here, mark my words, Bitcoin will hit a million dollars in the coming years. Stack sats now. Accordingly, Bitcoin is a long-term play to create and store generational wealth, unconfiscatable, secure, borderless, perfect sound money. Count your blessings. We are still early, fam. And this just in breaking news, Iran to allow crypto and Bitcoin payments for international trade. And Max Kaiser responded, governments can't ban Bitcoin, so they'll join the Bitcoin revolution. That's right. Also in today's show, one in a billion, a second tiny miner solves a block and receives a $266,000 reward. A great underdog story I'll be sharing with you. And this just in, more breaking news. Tonga, to copy El Salvador bill, making Bitcoin legal tender, says former member of parliament. That's right. Another domino is lined up to fall down the route of Bitcoinization. Yesterday, the Pacific Island nation of Tonga shared a play-by-play -play approach to adopting Bitcoin as legal tender, as their former member of parliament outlines right here, and quoting him in this tweet, an economy that uses Bitcoin for payment at every stage of the supply chain, from the seed to the table, pay for cassava roots and a cattle in Bitcoin from the farming supplier, all the way to the waitress, serving it to you at Cardo Steak Bar and every step in between BTC. Also in today's show, institutional investment will boost Bitcoin to $75,000 per BTC, says Siba, CEO. That's right, the CEO of Switzerland-based financial institution, Siba Bank, shared his predictions for Bitcoin in 2022. Guido Bueller was optimistic about institutional adoption and a price increase to $75,000 per coin. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the alts are currently pumping and in the green. But where's the Bitcoin? price likely to go next find out all this plus so much more in today's show Here are crypto news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. They have a special promo they're running right now where you can get up to $250 in Bitcoin. Bitcoin for funding your account today. And their flagship products include their BlockFi interest account, where you can earn up to a 9% APY with no minimum balance and no hidden fees. And of course, you can buy, sell, and trade the top cryptocurrencies instantly 24-7, 365. And also have a BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa credit card, where you can earn 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases within your first 90 days, then get an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin on everything you buy thereafter. And they also offer crypto back loans where you can borrow against your crypto with rates as low as 4.5%, APR with no prepayment penalties, no impact to your credit, and receive the funds the same business day, truly making this a no-brainer. So go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below and get up to $250 in Bitcoin for funding your account today. And let's start stacking those sats, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy in the live chat. The Bitcoin touched $44,000 for a second time yesterday on January 12th, amid increasing divergence of opinion about whether the price bottom is in. And right here, you're looking at the Bitcoin one-hour candle chart. Now, data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView showed the $44,000 mark acting as local resistance on Thursday, following forecast that $46,000 can soon return. Let's freaking go. Bitcoin stayed broadly higher overnight, following Following the previous day's United States inflation data, but for some, now was not the time to become overly confident. As Material Indicators points out here, Bitcoin is starting to feel a little toppy, although asks are diffused through some key resistance levels. Some Bitcoin bulls may show up to clear a few levels, but the whole herd is going to have to show up to clear them all might de-risk a bit. And suggesting a good opportunity to de-risk, Material Indicators highlighted order book flux, which on Wednesday has formed focus of a graver warning about a possible incoming crash. However, to the contrast, others believe that a price squeeze may ultimately be to 
to the upside and punish latecomer short traders, as Shu Zhu points out here, observing perpetual funding going increasingly negative as price grinds higher, it appears that the real liquidation wave may be to the upside. And for popular crypto trader CryptoEd, he began to show optimism over significantly lower levels being gone for good. Checking out his tweet right here. Good morning all. Thanks for giving me some time to have a Twitter break, but I'm back to tell you that my feeling about Bitcoin is in. It's getting stronger when seeing the Bitcoin chart. Want to see more confirmation, but if we do get that fifth leg today, I'm getting excited. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts and how long can this relief rally last? Will a brief look at funding rates across exchanges revealed only a slight change overnight with neutral to negative values dominating. So such behavior runs in contrast to recent weeks in which a declining spot price was met by positive funding. And checking out these other tweets, Mikhail Van Pop shared, this might be a very realistic scenario for Bitcoin. First test of 46,000. I doubt we'll break it though in one go. And he also shares that Bitcoin is ready for the biggest bull run in history. Send it. And as pointed out in this chart, bounce. This cycle is not over. And as Plan B chimes in here, the bounce will be epic. Let's freaking go. When in doubt, zoom out. And as I shared on crypto Twitter, mark my words, Bitcoin will hit a million dollars in the coming years. Stack sats now accordingly. Bitcoin is a long-term play to create and store generational wealth, unconfiscatable, secure, borderless, perfect sound money. Count your blessings. We are still early fam. And this just in breaking news, I ran to allow crypto and Bitcoin payments for international trade. And as Max Kaiser points out, government can't ban Bitcoin, so they'll join the Bitcoin revolution. That's right, Bitcoin bans governments. Just saying. And before I break down next story of the day, one in a billion, second tiny miner solves a block, receiving a $266,000 reward, as well as breaking news, Tonga to copy El Salvador bill, making Bitcoin legal tender, says their former member of parliament, as well as institutional investments will boost Bitcoin to $75,000, says Siba, CEO. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin up 1.5% for the day, maintaining just above $43,750. We have Ether up one and three quarters of a percent, trading just above $3,360, while Solana is up over 6%, trading at $152. Luna up five and a half percent, trading just under $82. And Cardano up almost 3%, trading at a dollar. 28. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. In an astonishing turn of events, two lucky miners from the solo CK mining pool have defied all odds and added a new block on the Bitcoin blockchain in the same week. On Monday, a tiny miner successfully solved the block with a modest hash rate capacity of 126 terahashes per second. Bitcoin mining expert and member of the Bitcoin Mining Council, Haas McCook, told Cointelegraph at the time that the odds of this happening were 1 in 1.4 million. But according to a Thursday tweet from solo admin, Khan Khalifa, us. Another miner from the same pool was able to solve a block with a capacity of only 116 terahashes per second, even less than the first miner. That's likely just to be one of three mining rigs, depending upon the equipment used. Now, Kalivas added that the new miner joined the pool less than two days ago, presumably in response to the other lucky block solver. They've been astronomically lucky in solving a block solo in that time. And he shared the following. This is insane luck at work in a very unusual event. Insane luck may be an understatement, McCook told coin telegraph that the odds of this happening are so unlikely he is unsure of how to even mathematically calculate it he suggested that the odds of such a small miner succeeding once was one in a million so two successes just a few days apart would be at least one in a billion. And when the first miner successfully solved the block, McCook said, to say this is very rare is an understatement. Now, each of the miners who may have been mining just one or two machines will take home 6.25. BTC currently worth $266,000 for their efforts. Not too shabby. Now, personally, I love underdog stories like this. So congratulations to those miners. And how many of you are currently mining the king of all crypto? Let me know in the comments right down below. I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform, with over three and a half billion dollars in transactions. If you're looking to trade crypto tax-free, look no further than iTrust. And yes, they are backed by the world's leading institutional cold storage provider, Coinbase Custody with a $320 million insurance policy. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below to take advantage of the number one crypto IRA provider in America. And if you sign up today, you're gonna receive a $100 funding reward as a free bonus. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below. And let's start stacking those sats.
tax-free. And before I break down next breaking story of the day, Tonga, the copy El Salvador bill, making Bitcoin legal tender, says their former member of parliament, as well as institutional investment will boost Bitcoin to $75,000, says Siba, CEO. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sitting just under $2.1 trillion, with about $118 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. And the current Bitcoin dominance is 39.9%, with the Ether dominance at 19.2%. And checking out some of the top coins, you can see many of them are in the green today and they updated coin market cap. So now when I browse top gainers within the past 24 hours, it's showing beyond the top 100, which includes a lot of ish coins I'm not even going to mention. But as you can see, we do have a lot of major gainers for the day. Now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 21 in Extreme Fear. Yesterday a 22, last week a 15, and last month a 21 in Extreme Fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme Fear can be a sign investors are too worried. That could be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down our next breaking story of the day. Another domino is lined up to fall down the route of Bitcoinization. Yesterday, the Pacific Island nation of Tonga shared a play-by-play -play approach to adopting Bitcoin as legal tender. In a series of tweets, Lord Fusitua, a former member of parliament of Tonga, released an ETA for Bitcoin becoming legal tender in Tonga, copying the El Salvadorian playbook. The move could onboard more than 100,000 tokens onto the Bitcoin network. Let's freaking go. In his five-point plan, the chairman of the global organization of parliamentarians against corruption describes the adoption path as he outlines here on crypto Twitter. Number one, September slash October bill goes to parliament. Pass. Number two, sent to palace office for submission to his majesty for royal assent. Number three, less than a month, his majesty has advised by privy council assents to bill. Number four, two to three weeks, gazetted by government activation date set. And on activation date, Bitcoin becomes legal tender. So there you have it. And in a follow-up comment, he said that the bill is modeled on and is almost identical to the El Salvador bill. Now the announcement sowed the seeds for questions, predictions, and outright jubilation for Bitcoin Twitter before the token set the record straight. And as Derek Ross points out here, so we can see Bitcoin as legal tender during November slash December 2022. That gives us just under a year to build up infrastructure with lightning nodes and get tokens educated on Bitcoin and lightning. Let's go. And Lord Fushua responded, boom. That's us, brother. And if you're not familiar with Tonga, it's a remote island nation that relies upon remittances from countries including Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. The International Finance Corporation estimates that Tonga receives more income from remittances than any other country in the world, contributing up to 30% of household income crazy. And furthermore, while the token population numbers are just six figures, the token diaspora is vast. The International Organization for Migration estimates that the token population living abroad at 126,000 with up to 18,000 tokens in Australia. Now, the remittance use case was one of the primary drivers for El Salvador adopting Bitcoin as legal tender. And according to the World Bank, Tonga's remittance as a percentage of GDP is substantially higher than El Salvador at 39% versus 24% respectively. And when the island's internet infrastructure was brought up into question, the token claim internet and smartphone penetration rates exceeded 90%. The World Bank's most recent figures, albeit from five years ago in 2017, showed Tonga at 50% internet penetration. Now, obviously, adopting the internet across this country is going to take some time, but he is optimistic about Bitcoin's future, as he shares here on Crypto Twitter, an economy that uses Bitcoin for payment at every stage of the supply chain, from the seed to the table, pay for cassava roots and cattle and Bitcoin from the farming supplier all the way to the waitress, serving it to you at Cardo Steak Bar and every step in between in BTC. So there you have it. What other major countries do you feel will adopt Bitcoin as legal tender here this year in 2022? Let me know in the comments right down below. And before I break down our final story of the day, institutional investment will boost Bitcoin to $75,000 per BTC, says Siba, CEO. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,000 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my new crypto merch store, which is now live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which can be found at cryptonewsyes.com. 
www.thegreatmarketingguru.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to help me get to 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan Experience, to Apple's iTunes. We're currently receiving over half a million downloads per month. And if you're listening to the pod, check out the YouTube channel at Crypto News Alerts. Net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. The CEO of Switzerland-based financial institution, Siba Bank, shared his predictions for Bitcoin in 2022, a boon for the Bitcoin bulls. Guido Bueller was optimistic about institutional adoption and a price increase to $75,000 Per BTC. He explained in a new interview that at SIBA, asset pools are looking for the right time to invest. However, they need the right counterparties and the necessary regulation in order to deploy capital. And when pressed on whether Bitcoin would hit new highs this year, Bueller thinks it's possible. The question is always time. He noted that with the Bitcoin dominance bottoming out at 40%, it's a pivotal moment for investors looking for a directional play. Now, the interview took place at the Crypto Finance Conference in St. Moritz, Switzerland, where sophisticated players across the crypto space came together to discuss potential business deals. Now, the reasons behind the price increases clashed with the CEO of Ledger's Musings. At the same conference, Pascal Garcia agreed that Bitcoin hitting new highs, but it'll retail leading the charge. Siba Bank is building a rep reputation as a crypto-friendly banking institution. The bank recently completed a Series C funding round of 110 million Swiss francs, valued at 119 million USD, in which FTX and Alameda Research were investors. And in October of last year, the bank said that customers would soon be able to earn yields on their crypto holdings. And as a crypto enthusiast himself, in Bueller's words, the technology behind Bitcoin will redefine finance. I agree 100%. And I feel that a $75,000 Bitcoin price is extremely conservative for this bull run. But just saying, what's your prediction for the end of the year? Where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to be by December 2022? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now for a quick recap of what I cover with you here in today's show. Top or bottom, traders are at odds at whether the Bitcoin price will keep rising. Also in today's show, I shared a great underdog story. One in a billion as a second tiny miner solves a block, earning $266,000 in BTC rewards. Also in today's show, I shared breaking news. Tonga to copy El Salvador bill, making Bitcoin legal tender, says their former member of parliament, as well as institutional investment, will boost the Bitcoin price to $75,000 per BTC, says Siba. CEO, but where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode. Ecoin wrote, Aloha JV, catching some waves right after catching some crypto news from you. Solid as always, like clockwork. Aloha Ecoin, let's get it fam. I appreciate you tuning in as always. Hoddle. And our next feature comment comes from our very own Inner Dino. Thanks, JV. This is the best channel for no nonsense news delivered with a sense of humor and a hint of sarcasm. Love it. Much love, Inner Dino. You're the man. Keep stacking them sats and let's freaking go. Now, for our third and final feature comment, comes from Juan Romero, El Salvador, Argentina. The dominoes are falling. Strike strikes again. I'm bullish as what? On strike, on Bitcoin, and on you, JV. Always bringing the news consistently. Thank you for all your hard work. Much appreciated, fam. Yes, and now Tonga. Let the dominoes fall in place. As we all know, it is destiny. Bitcoin game theory in full effect here in 2022. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hoddle, and to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. That's right. Bitcoin is the glitch in the matrix. And if you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this and help me get to 100,000 subs along with a six-figure Bitcoin price. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.